Welcome to another wonderful video. Very important concept in chemistry called stoichiometry. Stoichiometry usually um, studies the relationship between um, the reactants and products in a balanced chemical equation. All right, that is why in some textbook you see this topic written as mass and volume relationship. But actually, actually, we don't we, we don't study only the relationship between uh, mass and volume. We can um, consider mass and mole, mole and mass, volume and mass, like different concepts. So when we study the relationship between reactants and products in a balanced chemical equation, we say we, we are studying what stoichiometry. Now I'm going to divide stoichiometry into three parts. This first part, I will call it the mole. So this is the starting part, the mole. So part one is the mole. In the next video, next video will carry part two. And what will be part two? Part two will be stoichiometry of solutions. Stoichiometry of solutions. And in that case, we'll look at what is called molarity, molality, and normality. And I'll give you formulas by way of shortcuts for solving molality, molarity, normality. Even percentage, a lot of things we we'll, we we'll consider in the um, part two. But for now, part one, we are considering the mole. First and foremost, what is the mole? The mole of any substance, we define it as the amount, amount, amount of that substance, amount of the substance or amount of its substance contained contained in many elemental entities All right so we define the mole of a substance okay i can even continue as there are, as there are, in 12 gram of carbon 12. This is the definition for the mole. So we define the mole of a substance as the amount of the substance contained in many elemental entities. Many elemental entities. As there are, that's using arbitrarily, using this one as an example. As there are, in 12 gram of carbon 12. That is what we call the mole. It is important to say that the mole is represented by the symbol N. Um, another thing we represent in chemistry with the small letter N, um, the symbol small letter N, is principal quantum number. But here, we are talking about the mole. So we see the mole to be N. Without wasting time, I'm going to give you formulas we use in calculating the mole of a substance. There are various formulas we use when we want to calculate the mole of a substance. But before I do so, I said that the amount of a substance contained in many elemental entities. What are these elemental entities? So I will tell you the examples of elemental entities. Examples of elemental entities. Examples of elemental entities. We have one. Atoms. Atoms are elemental entities. Two, molecules. Molecules are elemental entities. And um, three, we have ions. Ions, all of them are elemental entities. Particles. Particles. Particles are elemental entities. Moving on, the formulas for calculating. So we said that amount of a substance contained in many elemental entities as there are in 12 grams of carbon 12. And I'm telling you that the amount of substance contained in all these things, because any of these things is an elemental entity. So the amount of a substance contained in the atoms of that um, element is called the word the mole. Or that substance will be called the word the mole. Formulas for calculating the number of moles. Number one, we say the number of moles from the basis of chemistry, the number of moles is M over M0. What is this M here? The M stands for what? Mass. 
Why this M will not stand for what? Molar mass. Molar mass. Now, some text might tell you the reacting mass. It's the same thing as this mass you are seeing here. And the molar mass, we said that the molar mass of a substance is defined as what? The mass of one mole of that substance. The mass of one mole of a substance is said to be the weight in the molar mass. Moving on now, number two, number two, we have that number of mole is volume over molar volume. Very important. This MV, this is MV, molar volume. This formula works um, for substances that are gases. When you are giving substances that are gases, you are giving volume and you are asked to calculate the number of moles. Then know that number of moles and the substance is a gas, then number of moles is volume over molar volume. It is important to state that this molar volume is the normal molar volume you know in chemistry. Molar volume of any gas at STP, we say it is what? 22.4 dm cubed. Very important. Now, having said so, because molar volume of a gas, some people keep only call it GMV, gram molar volume of a gas, or molar volume of a gas, in short, is the same thing. So, molar volume of a gas or gram molar volume of a gas is constant. And we say that the value is what? 22.4 dm cubed. Now, you are seeing that the unit of this volume here is dm cubed. That tells you that when you are coming to this formula, if you want to solve with this formula, it then means that this volume up here should equally be in what? In dm cubed. And um, without wasting time, in the previous videos, I have shown how you can convert volume from one unit to the other. Maybe I'll put it up here for those that have forgotten. We say that when you want to convert volume, one liter is equal to what? One dm cubed. The same thing as 1,000 cm cube. The same thing as what? 1,000 mil. The same thing as what? 10 raised to the power minus 3 meter cubed. In case you have forgotten, it is important for you to um, have this at your fingertip. Every one liter in this life is one dm cube. And that one liter or that one dm cube is 1000 cm cube centimeter cube and that 1000 cm cube is 1000 milliliters 1000 milliliters is 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube so it then means that cm cube and mil is the same one mil one cm cube one cm cube one mil so that's how you can convert all right when we start solving questions now you see how we do that the volume over the molar volume, very important. Both of them must be in the same unit so that the unit can cancel. Then you get sure get, going to get a number of moles. Number three, number three formula for calculating the number of moles. I'll put it up here. We have that N is equal to what? CV. Very important. It is important to state that this formula, the volume here, is always in waiting now. DMQ. The volume in this formula three is in dm cube why because i will, i'm going to write formula four now and then i will show you the difference between formula three and formula four so you understand this c stands for concentration c stands for what concentration concentration as a matter of fact there are difference of various units of measuring concentration there are various units of measuring concentration Concentration can be measured in in mole per dm cube. Mole per dm cube. All right. It can also be measured in gram per cm cube. Different um, even in gram per uh, dm cube, which is mass concentration. Mass concentration is gram per dm cube. So why molar concentration? This one is molar concentration, which we equally call molarity. In the second video, I'm going to explain better because every concentration in chemistry that has this unit is usually molarity. So molarity is concentration in mole per dm cube, which we call it, equally call in secondary school chemistry, we call it molar concentration. But for A-level chemistry, we usually call it molarity. Very simple. 
So number of more is modality times volume, but that volume must be in what? DMQ. Formula 4, formula 4, number of more is what? CV divided by 1000. Number of more is CV by 1000. Look at this and this. The only difference between formula 3 and 4 is that formula 3, the right hand side has been divided by 1000 in formula 4. That tells you that this volume here in formula 4 is in what? Cm cube or milliliters. It then means that the thousand there is to convert the volume to dm cube. So very important, you now know that the volume in this formula 4, very important, is in cm cube or milliliters, while the volume in formula 3 is in dm cube. Moving on, look at formula 5. Look at formula 5. Um, this first video will just be all about the mode, nothing else. Second video will be stoichiometry of solution. Oh, we'll start talking about molality, molality, normality, mass percent, so many things, all right? So number five, I'm trying to make the video very short um, for you to comprehend it easily. Number five, from um, ideal gas equation, which you saw um, earlier, that PV is equal to what? NRT, right? This is pressure, this is volume, this is number of moles. This is what? The um, molar gas constant, which we usually say it is 0 0.0821. The T here is temperature in Kelvin. I can make the number of mole here, the subject of formula, for formula 5. So number of mole becomes PV divided by RT. That will give me my N. So this is another formula for calculating the number of moles. And that's what I try to as formula 5. Please, it is worthy of note that you don't just use this formula anyhow. I've been telling students, both O level and A level, whenever you want to use this formula, which says PV is equal to NRT, you must be sure of the following. Number one, that this R, this R you are seeing there, being the molar volume, um, uh, molar gas constant, must be this value, 0 0.0821. It must be this value for this formula. Then that the temperature must be in what? Kelvin. Kelvin. You don't solve with degrees Celsius here. Then that the pressure here, this pressure P, the pressure must be in what? Atmospheres. ATM. Atmosphere. It must be in atmospheres. All right? Then, um... The volume here, the volume here must be in what? Dm cube. Take note of the volume. You must obey all this. The R must be 0 0.0821. The T must, the temperature must be in Kelvin. The volume must be in what? Dm cube. And the pressure must be in what? Atm. With this, you are sure going to get your answer for number of moles. Soon, we'll start solving questions. So you see um, how we approach questions. With this formula. Formula C, so permit me to wipe this. If you have not gotten this, kindly pause the video and copy the formulas out. Otherwise, I will remove them from here. Now, up next, um, I want to introduce formula 6. So what is formula 6? Formula 6 is number of more is number of Particles or atoms or ions or all right particles, atoms, ions or molecules. Everything will be divided by Avogadro's constant, which is what six point zero two three times ten to the power twenty three atoms, particles or molecules. So take note that number of moles is number of particles, atoms, ions, or molecules over Avogadro's constant, 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 atoms. In short, you can write this formula like this. You can make it very easy for you. You can call everything here x divided by what? 6.023 times 10 to the power what? 23 atoms. Where this x can be any of the following, number of particles, 
number of atoms, number of ions, or number of molecules. So if the examiner says, how many atoms are in maybe 12 grams of blah, 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 you will use this formula. How many molecules are in this formula? How many atoms are in this formula? How many ions this formula? The X represents any of the following up there. It is time to combine formulas. Remember what I gave you in Formula 1? You can actually combine Formula 1 and Formula 4. This is still my Formula 4. If I combine Formula 1 and Formula 4, I will get this formula. Look at what I'm going to get. We said in Formula 1, number of mole, mass over molar mass. Then we said in Formula 4, number of mole, CV over 1,000. It then means that I'm, I'm permitted to say mass over molar mass, this is number of mole, is equals to CV divided by 1,000. CV divided by 1,000. Please take note that this is the most important formula in this part one called the mole. This formula will, will give you answer for mass when concentration is given and volume is given. It can equally give you molar mass when mass is given, concentration is given, volume is given. It can give you concentration when mass, molar mass and volume is given. Alright? So take note that this formula is very, very important. M stands for mass. M not stands for molar mass. C stands for concentration or molarity. V stands for volume. E CMQ. And over 1,000. We can keep on combining the formulas. Um, we can even combine um, formula 3 and formula 1. We can still combine formula 2 and formula 1. So you can combine any of these since each of them have number of more. We can actually combine formula 1 and formula 6. Then we get this one. Very, very important. We get mass over molar mass is equal to what do we have there? That's number of mole is equal to what now? x over what 6.02 times 10 to the power what 23 atoms very important very important in our next videos we'll solve um for the mole we'll solve questions on this um right now i will just leave it at this point so that you'll be able to do what to memorize these formulas so in the next video you see questions we are going to solve with this formula so after that we now move on to stoichiometry of what solutions thank you remember to like remember to subscribe and remember to share the youtube channel name is affinity chm affinity capital letter chm like this so you search this on youtube remember to subscribe why do you need to subscribe when you subscribe you'll be able to get notification when I, when next i drop a new video all right and um, remember to share and remember to like share so that your friends will benefit just as you have benefited thank you